Hello and welcome to this citation video. I will show you how to identify SIMS library resources to help with citations, format MLA 9th edition citations of online newspaper or magazine articles. Before we get started, I want to show you how to find the SIMS library guide for citing sources. Simply go to the library homepage and select the Research Help tab. From there, select the Citing Sources link. The MLA tab will link you to the official MLA handbook. We'll use that more later in this video. Now, let's focus on citing online newspaper and magazine articles. Don't be scared of citations. It's as easy as following a recipe. Just decide what you're cooking, gather the ingredients, and combine them into the final dish. When we use library databases, Gathering ingredients is easier. Databases organize all the information into labeled sections, like authors and source. If you're not sure what each label means, you can ask a librarian for help. But with online sources, our ingredients aren't organized. The exact positioning or labeling can differ between sources. Sometimes the information we need isn't listed. That means you'll need to look carefully for any information and also prepare for when it may not exist. In our two examples, we'll look at common locations to find needed information and what to do if some is missing. For our first example, we will cite an online newspaper article. We need to indicate that this is an online article by including a URL. While optional, including the date we accessed it is best since it's an online source. I looked at the sections called Location Element in Work Cited, and supplemental elements in the MLA handbook to figure this out. We need seven pieces of information for our citation. Author, article title, newspaper title, publication date, page numbers, URL, and access date. We can identify most of the information needed from the same web page displaying the article. We'll navigate from the top of the web page in the header to the bottom of the web page in the footer and see what we can find. In the header or top of the web page, we find the newspaper title. In this case, our newspaper is The Guardian. Beneath the navigation tabs, we see the article title, The Secret Life of Bats, Vital Workers of the Night. To the left of the article, we see the author and publication date. In this case, our article has one author, Bronwyn Scott. It was published on February 26, 2022. We don't need to list the day of the week or the time of day as part of the publication date. As we scroll through the text of the article and make our way to the footer, we find no page numbers. For online articles, that's common. Since we have no page numbers, we omit it from our citation. The URL is provided in the address bar at the top of the browser window. We would copy and paste the exact URL to include in our citation. The access date is the day we view the article. For online sources, we provide an access date because web pages can change easily. For our example, the access date will be June 6, 2022, when this video is being recorded. Now, we have all seven pieces of information needed for our citation. Let's review the information we gathered one more time, as listed on the screen. To finish the citation, we'll arrange the information according to the order prescribed by the style guide. In this case, we're looking at MLA style. Appendix 2 of the MLA Handbook has many different templates we can reference. In the section labeled Contributions to News Publications, I'm using the Published Online Without Page Numbers template. Our template doesn't have an access date, but we will add that at the end of the citation. When we finish formatting, our citation would look as it appears on the screen. For our second example, we'll cite an online magazine article. Our magazine article has a volume number and an issue number, which we'll include in our citation. I looked at the section called Number Element in Work Cited in the MLA Handbook to figure this out. We need nine pieces of information for our citation. Author, article title, magazine title, volume number, issue number, publication date, page numbers, URL, and access date. Just like before, we can identify most of the information needed from the same web page displaying the article. We'll again navigate from the top of the web page, or header, to the bottom of the web page, or footer. This time, our magazine title is not located in the header. Instead, we first see the article title, Saving Malaysia's Fruit Bats. Beneath the article title, in the horizontal navigation menu, we find the magazine title, volume number, and issue number. The magazine title is Bats Magazine. The volume number is 39, and the issue number is 3. Beneath a large image, we see the author, Lynn Davis. 
Let's confirm what we have thus far. From our web page, we have found the article title, magazine title, volume number, issue number, and author. However, we have not yet located the publication date or page numbers. Even if we scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, or footer, we cannot find that information. This source requires us to do a little more investigating. To the left of the author's name, we see an image of the magazine's cover. This image contains citation information, but it's hard to see. For this particular magazine, we can download a PDF of the full issue. To access the PDF, select the Volume 39 Issue 3 link from the horizontal navigation menu. Then, select the Download PDF button beneath the image of the magazine cover. After downloading the PDF, we can more easily access the publication date, which is 2020. We can also use the PDF to find the page numbers for our article. In the section labeled Inside This Issue, it indicates our article begins on page 8. The article that follows begins on page 14, which means our article must end on page 13. Using the PDF provided, we have also found the publication date and the page numbers. Now, we will gather the URL from the address bar and note our access date, June 6, 2022. Now we have all nine pieces of information needed for our citation. Let's review the information we gathered one more time, as listed on the screen. Going back to Appendix 2 of the MLA Handbook, in the section labeled Contributions to Magazines, I'm using the With Season, Volume Number, and Issue Number template. While our magazine lacks a season, and we'll need to include the page numbers, URL, and access date, this example still shows similar elements to our situation. When we finish formatting, our citation would look as it appears on the screen. I hope that you have found this video helpful. If you need any further help, remember, you can always ask a librarian.